News at 6, Sammy Bat Yan. Those protesters marched from Monroe Park to Kanawha Plaza today, but we're told they can't stay there tonight. Ben Garbrick followed them around <laughs> Richmond. Did police and protesters clash today, Ben? Well, Ben, everyone seems to have gotten along today. The protesters marched by City Hall and several other places downtown before ending up at Kanawha Plaza. But this time around, the protesters are not staying overnight. They march by the dozens. Jeff Winder was one of about 100 people that met at Monroe Park Saturday afternoon and hit the streets. We're really excited to see so many new people engaged, really excited to see the movement continuing. Protesters marched up Broad Street, swinging by City Hall en route to Kanawha Plaza. It just sounded like a good day to uh, go for a nice walk through the city of Richmond. Harry Hancock was one of several people arrested when the protesters were kicked out of Kanawha Plaza by police in October. All the 99 percenters, we haven't gone anywhere. This is the first time the protesters have come back to Kanawha Plaza since they were kicked out. Many shouted, welcome home, as they returned. Kanawha Plaza is a, a different place now. Uh, there's not the vibrant community that there used to be, but um, we've kind of brought it back. Their homecoming was much less dramatic than their last visit. This time, the police left the protesters alone. The police decided to stay as far away from, as possible from us today, it seems like. So, yeah, it was, it was very peaceful and not a problem at all. Recently, the protesters set up camp next door to Mayor Dwight Jones' home. The protesters say they wish they could move back to Kanawha Plaza, but this time around, they're following the rules and are leaving after sundown. We feel good to be back. Um, I, wish, I wish that it was still home, but it's not. The march lasted nearly two hours. Many of the protesters also picked up trash along the way. I'm Ben Garbrick for NBC 12.